Okay, so I know where this, this product begins, I know where it ends, now we're ready to put this thing together. And only about 15% of the state got this far. Have a look back up here, here are my terms at the beginning, right, climbing down from the top of the ladder. So if I zoom out a little bit, I should be able to see that and write it at the same time. Hopefully it's big enough for you guys still to read. Uh, I'm gonna go 2n on 2n plus one, multiply by i n minus one, but I know what i n minus one is, it's, it's equal to this, right? So therefore I'm gonna go multiply by 2n minus two on 2n minus one. Uh, what's the next one? It's 2n minus four on 2n minus three. And then this just keeps going, right? I didn't bother to work out what i n minus three was, but the pattern will continue. And then I'm gonna end up, where am I gonna end up? Here's the second last term, i one. So it'll be two thirds. And then the very last term is one. <sighs> all right, so what do I do with this thing? Well. As with all proofs, uh, you need to have one eye on the, the sort of finish line, um, as well as one eye on the thing that you're working on at the moment. So if I go back up, you can see this is what I'm required to prove. This thing here, the one that was like, ugh, gross. How is this, I'm just gonna copy it so you can see them at the same place. How is this similar or different to this result right here? Well, for me, the easiest thing is actually to have a look at those denominators. We had them in green before, right? Have a look at these. They're very useful to me. Um, that one on the end there doesn't have a denominator, so let's write it as one over one, so that I do have a denominator. There you go. Have a look at the denominators, see what they look like, and see how close they are to what I want, but not quite, right? I want a 2n plus one factorial. 2n plus one factorial. It's like so close, right? I've got a 2n plus one, I start there, and I have a one at the end. There's just a bunch of things missing from 2n plus one factorial, right? 2n plus one, all factorial, means I need to include every single number all the way down to one. I'm missing a lot of numbers. I'm missing exactly half of them, right? You can see there's a number missing in here between 2n plus one and 2n minus one. There should be, right in here, there should be a 2n, right? That would sort of complete the sequence. And it's the same because they step down in twos, they decrease in twos every time. There's a term missing in here as well. It'd be a 2n minus two. Um, presumably another term missing here. There's even a term missing right at the very end. You've got three and then you skip two and then you go to one, right? So oh, this would be 2n minus four, by the way. So therefore, what I wanna do here is I wanna introduce these terms into the denominators so that I can get this 2n plus one factorial that I'm after, okay? So how do I do that? Well, watch out, this is gonna look a little weird, right? Let's put in these terms that I want, or rather these terms that I had before. And then what I'm gonna include is these extra denominators that I need to make the 2n plus one factorial appear. Right? So there's gonna be a 2n there. Then here comes the next fraction in the sequence. So it's 2n minus two on 2n minus one. And then we're missing a term again. It's the on 2n minus two term. And uh, then I keep going along. And then I'm gonna have 2n minus four on 2n minus three. I'll do one more for good measure, just to make it, I'm trying to get this pattern of three, right? Um, so I guess the next one would be that 2n minus four that I said before, multiply by dot, dot, dot. Uh, and then what have I got? Two thirds. Uh, here comes the missing two. And then I've got the one over one right at the end there, okay? So in other words, I've included all the even terms. I had all the odd ones before, right? Uh, one and three, and these are all in the form of an odd number, and I've just inserted all these even ones. But hold up, I mean, <laughs> you can see by the way I've written this line, right? This is incomplete. You can't just multiply denominators by something because it is convenient to you. I can't actually change this product. I have to maintain its identity, right? So if you are multiplying the denominator by something, to keep the thing equal, you had better be multiplying the numerator by the same thing. So 2n on 2n, 2n minus two on 2n minus two, and so on all the way down. I'll admit, this feels like a bit of a rabbit out of a hat trick when you just look at the completed line, but I hope you can see how we arrived at this conclusion. We knew we needed this 2n plus one factorial, and we looked and we were like, ah, uh, it's sort of there, but I need to modify it in some way to get it to where I need. So that's why I did this to the denominators, which means I did something to the numerators as well. Okay, 
Now I'm just looking at the time. I, uh, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to um, get you to work independently again or send you into breakouts. Sorry, um, but I do want to get you to the end of this and see the thinking that so much of the state was unable to make in the question um, so that you'll be equipped to have a go at questions like this in the future, okay? Have a look. We have sort of um, really tidied up our denominators. They are exactly what I want. So I'm going to uh, uh, sort of write this, I'm just going to duplicate this, right? But I want you to notice something has happened to our numerators at the same time as something has happened to our denominators. I wonder if you noticed it. Can you see, because we added in all these even terms here, right? Every term that you've added, you can factorize a two out of it, right? Um, and all the terms that were originally there, the numerators were all the even ones, right? So therefore, um, those ones you can also factorize a two out of. So I'm gonna rewrite this line and I'm gonna make that factorization obvious and I hope you're gonna see why I need this factorization in a second. Two, there's obviously an N, another two with an N, and then when you take two out of this, you get, think about it, N minus one, and then that one repeats. When you have a look at the next one, it's two N minus four, so you take that factor of two out, two, and then you get left with an N minus two. Same thing happens for this one. Now, why would I bother to take out all of these twos? I wonder if you can see back on your original piece of working why this is important. Look right there. See that? That two to the two n means a bunch of twos were factorized out. And you have to think, well, do I have the right number of twos? And the answer is yes. How many terms are there in this entire product? Well, we start from one, two, three. It's just the counting numbers. And we go all the way up to 2n plus 1. So this entire line has 2n plus 1 terms in it. But not every term has a 2 in the numerator. There's a single term right here that doesn't have a 2 in it. So even though I've got 2n plus 1 terms, one of those terms is missing the 2, so 2n plus 1 minus that one gives you this 2n that you're looking for. And I wonder if at this point we are close enough to the end that it's all fitting together in your mind. Watch this. I'm gonna factorize out all those twos. How many did we just say there were? 2n of them, okay? Um, I can also say on the denominator, I did this weird sort of all of this business because I can just ball them up in a single factorial. So I've got 2n plus one factorial. And then what gets left behind? Look at it carefully with me. What color have I not used yet? Here we go. There's an N, an N, an N minus one, another N minus one, an N minus two, another N minus two. And then I've got these guys hanging out on the end there. Uh, actually, so I take that back. Those have been factorized out, so they're not there. Uh, what's left behind? And the answer is, there's sort of these doubles of this decreasing sequence, right? Let me write it for you really obviously. The N times N, is n squared. The n minus one times n minus one is n minus one squared, and so on. Uh, and then it's gonna keep on decreasing, right? Um, until you get to two squared, and then one squared, and then there's the one hanging out on the end there. What have I got here? Well, it's this big long product, and every single term in it has been squared. So therefore, I can uh, actually, so oopsie daisy, I can actually write that as the whole thing being squared. All of this is just going to hang out the front. And then every term that you can see that I've shunted off the fraction, um, the n and the n minus 1 and the n minus 2 and everything, they have all been squared. Can you see? There it is. That's the result we were trying to prove two to the two n hanging out the front, this, this thing here, is by definition n factorial. So I'm gonna write that with that color, n factorial. And it's all squared. And then on the denominator, shock horror, we actually got there, two n plus one factorial.